Hello children. Today we are discussing what the structure of internal structure of heart, mammalian heart. So this is a goat heart, goat heart, and this heart is uh, given to us by whom? Her name? Shailaja. Shailaja. So here today we are observing what mammalian heart. Our goat heart. So here you are observing what this is what broad part and this is conical part. Conical. This is conical part and this is broad part. So this is anterior end and this is the posterior. Anterior end and posterior end. So in the mammalian heart, four chambers are present. Four. So this is this is auricle. So this is auricle, and this also auricle. Two auricles are there. Two auricles and two ventricles. Upper chamber are called auricles. Come and say, upper chamber are called auricles, and lower chamber are called as ventricles. So there you are seeing what heart is divided into four chambers. So one, two, three, four. These two are upper chambers, and these two are lower chambers, and this is broad end. And this is conical end, and this part is called as what ventricles. And this is auricle. This is auricle. This is auricle. This is auricle. And there also another auricle. Two auricles are there. Upper chambers are called auricles, and ventral chambers are called as ventricles. Upper and ventricle. How many chambers are there in the mammalian heart? Four. Four. Upper chambers are called auricles, and lower chambers are called as ventricles. And heart pumps blood to body parts, and heart receives blood from body parts. So here today we are discussing what internal structure of heart. So here you are observing what pipes. So one, two, three. So here what are the tubes are there? Tubes, and this is a big one, and this is a big one which is having thick wall, and this is a big one from left side. Oxygenated blood is present, and right side what blood is present? Oxygen. Deoxygenated blood. This is impure blood, and here pure blood is present. So this is what a left auricle and left ventricle, and this is what right auricle and also right ventricle. Right side what blood is present? Deoxygenated blood, impure blood. Left side oxygenated blood. So here this is what ventricle, left ventricle. From left ventricle arising a big blood vessel. This is called aorta. This is called aorta. This is called systemic aorta, and which is having thick wall and which carries blood to all body parts. Which carries blood to all body parts. Again, we are saying what this is the right part, and right part is having what deoxygenated blood. And here you are seeing what one and two what one and two what tubes, and these tubes are nothing but pulmonary. Aorta or pulmonary artery, which carries blood to lungs for purification. Which carries blood to lungs for purification. So, which is carrying what blood to the uh, lungs? Deoxygenated blood. There in the lungs, the blood is purified. There you are seeing in the chart. Lungs are there, and two lungs are there, and these uh, pulmonary artery divide into two chamber, and it carries blood to lungs. There in the lungs, the blood is purified. So, once again. From lungs, the blood is once again carried back to heart by means of what pulmonary veins. Here you see present some what pulmonary veins. So small what tubes are there, but here they are not clear. So we discuss what this is what systemic aorta, and also two tubes are called as pulmonary artery, and also you are seeing what another one. This is a tube, and which is called as the uh, uh, superior vena cava, and also inferior vena cava also present. And these two vena cavae, they bring what deoxygenated blood from body parts, and they open to right auricles. So right auricle. Today we discuss what the blood vessels which are carrying blood to the heart, the blood vessels which carry blood away from the heart. How many chambers are there in the human heart? Four. Four. What are there? Right auricle, left auricle, right right auricle, left auricle, and left ventricle, and also right ventricle. And uh, deoxygenated blood is present in. Deoxygenated De blood is present in right, right side. Oxygenated blood is present in left, left side. side, and this is the 
big aorta that is called as systemic aorta so here already this heart is dissected and here you are observing what the presence of what valves so here you see so these are called valves so here these are called as valves they are called as valves so right side you see the pens are what tricuspid valve this is called as tricuspid valve and left side we are observing presence of what bicuspid valve or metal valve so in the heart how many chambers are there four, four. four. upper chambers are called as arcles and ventral chambers are called as ventricles right side we see the presence of what between the right arcle left uh, uh, right arcle and the right ventricle a uh, what a uh, valve is present that is called as tricuspid valve which is having what three flaps and between the left arcle and the left ventricle what present a valve is present that is called as bicuspid valve it is also called as mitral valve so today so here you see present presence of what white part this is nothing but fat this is nothing but fat fat layer so in the same way our heart is also having what four chambers four chambers are present in our heart also upper chambers are called as common say arcles lower chambers are called as ventricles and uh, we observed what this is called systemic aorta arising from left ventricle it carries blood to body part and these two tubes are what pulmonary artery which carries blood to lungs for purification and this is what superior vena cava which bring blood from head and neck it open to the right arcle so we discuss what blood vessel which carry blood to the heart and blood vessel which carry blood to the what uh, lungs and we also observe what internal structure of heart okay or uh, you come this side this side this side slowly and you focus this is what systemic aorta very good prem and these two blood vessels are called as pulmonary artery and this is called as superior vena cava and how many chambers are there in the heart four upper chamber circle as arcles and lower chamber circle as ventricles and uh, this is what left arcle this is what as right arcle this is right ventricle this is left ventricle a left ventricle muscle is thick when compared to the right ventricular muscle so today we observed what we observed what the internal structure of mammalian heart mammalian heart so i think you understood well clearly how many chambers are there in heart four, four, four chambers so right side what blood is present yeah. the yeah. oxygen blood that is imbued blood left side what blood is present yeah. so here heart is conical shape and uh, on the top broad and lower conical shape top broad end and lower conical shape and heart is enclosed by pericardium already the pericardium layer is removed so pericardium and pericardial fluid protect the heart from what shocks so this is the internal structure of heart this is brief description about the internal structure of heart thank you children